What's the difference between adaptation and mitigation? Adaptation is trying to fix the effects of climate change, and mitigation is trying to fix the cost of climate change. But let's break down their differences and provide some examples. Let's start with adaptation. Adaptation means finding solutions to actual or anticipated effects of the climate crisis and either prevent or minimize the damage it can cause. It's adapting, but it doesn't really tackle the source of the problem. Say you're on a ship with a leak. You'll want to take action before you sink. So maybe you grab a bucket and start bailing water out. But regardless of how efficient that might be, that's adaptation. Because you're not doing anything about the hole in the boat, which represents irreversible climate change, but you can do something about the water which is the effect of climate change. In real life, adaptation can be building defenses against sea level rise or behavioral shifts like reducing your food waste, eating less meat, using less plastic, saving water, etc. It's basically a way to adjust our ways to live in a future severely impacted by the climate crisis. Now, what does mitigation mean? Well, unlike adaptation, mitigation tries to fix the problem at the source. The IPCC report defines mitigation as, quote, human intervention to reduce the sources or enhance the sinks of greenhouse gases. So let's hop back on the sinking ship. This time, instead of trying to deal with the water, you're going straight for the hole and sealing it up to stop the water altogether. In a real life situation, this would mean reducing the sources of greenhouse gases, like the burning of fossil fuels, or retrofitting buildings and vehicles to be more energy efficient. But it also means enhancing carbon sinks to suck carbon out of the air with efforts like reforestation, preserving ocean health, soil enrichment, or even carbon capture technology. Basically, the goal with mitigation is to stabilize greenhouse gas levels enough to where ecosystems can naturally adapt to climate change, our food production is not threatened, and allow economic development to grow in a sustainable way. All that according to the IPCC report, of course. It's important to know that although these two responses are because of the same crisis, no single option is enough on its own. We've unfortunately reached a point where no one single path will save us. We see a lot of solutions trying to implement adaptation to a problem that can still be mitigated. And sometimes we see solutions trying to mitigate a problem that is way past the point of no return and all we have left to do is adapt to the changes. So we need better solutions and policies that link both mitigation and adaptation. And we need all hands on deck to save the sinking ship, our planet.